Uh, this is Brian at ConvertingEV.com. I'm at the salvage yard again today. I wanted to show you guys. So I bought a Nissan Leaf motor and inverter um, from a salvage yard and it didn't have a wire harness. And the Nissan Leaf inverter from the 2013 on have a plug that you can't buy online. And if you don't get the wire harness, it's really hard to use the inverter. But the other place to find it is in any 2010 to 2015 Prius at a scrap yard. I got one in front of me. I just want to show you. This is the inverter, kind of smashed up. The exact same plug for the Nissan Leaf is right here on the side of the inverter. So, I'm going to get it for five bucks today and be good to go. So, I'm back from the salvage yard. Um, I'm really excited because a lot of people online told me that if you don't get the Nissan Leaf wire harness, then it's impossible to use the inverter. Um, and I know there's people who have taken the inverter apart and soldered on new connectors, but you really don't have to do that. I'm not using the Nissan Leaf battery or any of the other components, just the motor and the inverter. So, um, saved a lot of money just buying the motor inverter. I don't have to buy an entire Nissan Leaf and scrap it out and get rid of the rest of it. That's too much work. So, I <clears throat> just want to show you, after successfully pulling um, a plug from a Prius, 20, a third gen Prius, that's 2010 through 2015, um, this is on the inverter, got out of the scrapyard for $5, and it is a perfect fit in here, so I'm super excited about that, fits right in locks in just like it's supposed to. You can't buy them online, so if you can't find it from a Nissan Leaf, you can go to any salvage yard. Uh, the this, this self pick and pull is easier because you can go and cut it yourself. It's really hard to explain to someone uh, exactly what you want if it's not a self-help pick and pull. Um, but it's pretty cool because I got, again, I got this motor for the price. They actually listed this motor, the this is a 2015 Nissan Leaf motor and transaxle. They sold it to me as a transaxle because they didn't know what it really was. So I got it for $250 transmission price at the salvage yard for the entire motor. The inverter they sold to me for $300. So I've got the power plant for my next project and now I've got the wire harness still working on the resolver. Uh, the, that's the wire harness on the motor. That's right here. Um, I don't have that plug. If anyone knows where I can get this plug let me know. I might just unbolt it here, pull the wires out, and put my own plug on there. But otherwise, it's going to be a good project.